everyone! Recently in Star Stable, I have not been buying a lot of horses. Well, especially compared to what I used to do in like 2020, 2021. Back then, I used to buy quite a few of the horses as they were released. Whereas you might have noticed recently, I usually only buy one. This means that my horse wish list has definitely grown. There's quite a few horses that I want to buy. I didn't want to like... Honestly, I would put every single, like, wouldn't anyone, if they had enough star coins, they would buy every single horse. Like, why not? <laughs> So I tried not to put every single horse on my wish list and just the ones that I really, really want. And I thought I'd share them with you guys today. Especially since right now I only have 448 star coins. So this wish list is going to only be generation 3 horses. Do not get me wrong, I love my generation 1 and generation 2 horses. But generation 1 and 2 horses are slowly being removed from the game. They are being discounted and I end up buying them anyways because they're so cheap and they're leaving forever and you know i gotta have all of them limited edition horses the first lot of horses that are definitely on my wish list are some of the american paint horses that i don't own now if you don't know me then i am a sucker for a paint horse and a few months ago at this point star stable released these two new coat colors of the american paint horses and i have not been able to buy them yet guys i don't know how to like describe this to you but i don't really have an urge to impulse buy horses especially since like because I'm a youtuber whenever I buy a horse it's for a video so if I don't have a video idea to buy a horse then I'm just not gonna buy it so I think that's really lucky for me in like saving my star queens I suppose but it does mean that like I just don't have an idea to buy these horses so I haven't yet but I really love them this one's a very subtle paint color but I still like it enough, like, I'm already starting off this video by being like, I need to own every single paint horse, because I own every single one of these paint horses. But guys, it's never enough. It's never enough. I love these ones. Not enough. <laughs> Not to forget that there is also a paint horse on the Star Stable Horses app, which I do not own. It is also a very simple one. But guys, I gotta own all of the paint horses. If you don't know, then recently Star Stable made it so every single app horse is going to be made available in the game as well. So you can either choose to buy a horse at level 1, but in the game, or to spend a few days training the foal up on the Star Stable Horses app so that you can get it at level 10 in the game. This unfortunately does not apply to the older ones. It is only the app horses going forward. So I still have to train that horse. I don't think I've even like opened the horses app in like months. Like I have not even seen the American pay horse in the app, but I still know that I want it. <laughs> But let me know if you like that Star Stable Horses app change. I think it's pretty cool, but I think I'm also still going to probably train all the horses on the app and then take them to the game because, hey, they're level 10. Like, it's worth it for me. Speaking of the My Horses app, the next horse I have on my wish list is actually one of the Pintabians. I think it might be called a buckskin or something, but I really like it. Once again, like, you guys are gonna notice the theme, but there is quite a few paint horses here. The only Pintabian I own is actually this black and white one here, and don't get me wrong, I love this one. Actually, this one reminds me of the black and white American paint horse as well. Just like this brown in here kind of reminds me of the brown paint horse we were just looking at. But part of me still kind of wants to put this on my wish list because it looks a little bit like lightning or something. I love the main coloring. But I think if it came down to it and I had to choose one or the other, I'd probably still choose the paint horse. But like, I don't know you guys. I'm so indecisive. But I would also love to buy all the other Pinto Pintabian horses that I don't have. Because, like, okay, I never used to like the Arabians, but things change, things happen, look how cute they are. This next one is definitely, like, a little bit crazy of me. You guys, I want to love the Belgian Warmbloods so much, and I don't know what it is about them. I love the models just so much, but I don't think I've like fallen in love with like many of the colors, but then I always say that and then I look at them and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I forgot that there was pit. Hold the phone, you guys. 
This one is for sure on my wish list. There's actually someone pointed out in one of my shorts recently, I think it was, of Red Dead Redemption 2. But there's a modded horse that I have, which kind of looks like this horse in Red Dead. Yes, I need this horse. Like, look at that face. The face market is so pretty with the blue eye, with the brown eye. Okay, you know, I forgot this horse existed. This one here would probably go on my wish list, but if things came down to it, it's a very basic horse, and I probably already have a horse like this. I think I'd definitely choose this one. Like, after seeing this one, I look at this one, and I'm like, I like it. Actually, the horse that I actually came here before I forgot about the other ones was this one here. And this one... I love this horse. This one was my favorite of the first released, I think. But there was something about the mane and how it just looked too bright for the body or something. I ended up buying this horse on my old account and it is still kind of on my wish list because here's the thing, you guys. Like, it's it's so weird. But because I never use my old accounts that much, like, yes, I've got some star coins on, like, my Let's Play account. But I never, like, get to spend time on it, which is my own fault. But I, I don't know, there's just this urge in me to own every single horse on my main account, so I like never buy horses on my old accounts. We actually also loaded onto this horse, which I also didn't know existed. I went through the Star Stable database, but I guess they're not updated. I don't know, maybe I was blind. But this horse is also really pretty, like that light dappling, the socks, the face marking for some reason is really speaking to me. Like I'm not usually a Palomino person, but this one is nice. This one is very nice. I like this horse because that mane fits the white so much better. Oh, but the face marking. Why do I feel bad about putting horses on my wish list? Like, I can't. The thing is that you guys come to these videos and I just end up being like, okay, this one, this one, this one, all of these ones, all of those ones. Like, where, where's my decision making skills? Oh my gosh. Wait, no, th this is, this is why, this is why I don't open any of my championship money. It's because, look, it's basically like a bank. Now I can afford the trail. That's why I do it, you guys. There's, there's that, like, downfall, that, oh no. And then the happiness that I feel when I remember that I've got thousands of, of Yorvik shillings in my mailbox. It is the best feeling of the world. Highly recommend. <laughs> Connemara horses, to me, are like a case study. You know how they're like generation three, but you look at them and you're like, are you sure about that? Are you lying to me? Well, it's because Jenna, like from my understanding from what they've said in the past, I believe they based their generations off of what they were using to create the horses. So they switched to generation three and I think about 2018, they started rolling out maybe 2017. Definitely by 2019, we had generation three horses. And you guys, I know it still feels like 2020, but we are actually towards the end of 2023 right now, which is really crazy to think about. So the Konamaru horses are like an old generation three and they don't look as good. And so then it's like, we need a Konamaru update, but then there's still so many other horses that need updated from like generation one, like the Westphalian. Westphalians only ever got one horse in this game. They had one color. And then there's so many horses outside of Star Steeple that we don't e even have. So I feel bad being like, I know the Konamaru is generation three, but I kind of want another one. <laughs> but there's something about this horse that I think is really pretty. Don't get me wrong, I don't like the purple. I'm so glad that like Age of Star Steeple is over. I feel like we haven't had any purple horses recently, cross fingers. But I think it's because I think this horse is known as like a silver dapple or something like that. And you know, it's that brown coat with the white mane and tail, super pretty. Also, don't get me wrong, like the Konamaras are still kind of like nostalgic to me, I guess. I've been playing this game for a long time. So in my head, when I think of Star Staple, sometimes I do like still, I look at a generation one horse and I'm like, that is Star stable right there like it still makes me happy anyways that's beside the point but yeah i just wanted to talk about that with this horse here and honestly when this horse gets cheaper because i feel like 810 i'm not sure that i'd spend that much but also this horse is still a generation three so maybe it will never get cheaper i feel like i'd put it on my wish list i just like the silver dapple oh i've just remembered another horse that i don't have my list that i'm referencing right now but is it's actually is it also a silver dapple i don't even know on the star stable horses app there is the Jorvik 
Oh my gosh, is that a new picture? That's so cute. There's the Jorvik pony and it's like black, like a grayish color with the white mane and tail. I actually trained that one up and I was going to buy it at the end of 2021 when I graduated high school. His name's actually Daiso and it was going to be like I was going to buy him after my maths exam because I was proud of myself for actually, you know, completing high school, but I never ended up making that video. So Daiso has sat in my Star Stable Horses app since 2020 sorry 2021 i still have him on my star stable horses app he's just waiting he's just waiting if you guys don't know i actually have my discord server and i actually used my brain <laughs> a little bit and i made my very own discord counting bot and because daiso is like meant to be from like you know it sounds like dice it reminds me of there's a store in australia it's actually a japanese store so i guess it's probably in japan and it's called Daiso, so that's why, like, I didn't want to call this horse Dice, because I think at the time that I got the horse, we didn't have a blank name, at least in the Star Stable Horses app, so I added the O at the end. Anyways, that's beside the point, but Daiso is actually, like, he's known as the Counting Pony on Discord, and Daiso does all of the counting bot things, like, I made a pony bot for counting. It's a little bit over the top, but I love it, so if you want to join the Discord, definitely do so. The link is in the description. I would love to see you guys there and I really want to add some more like horse related fun little bots but moving along we now have my next wish list horse is this Icelandic horse right here the Icelandic horses are just so fluffy if there was one thing that I don't like about them it's actually their special no is this the told I don't know the told is so much slower than then the Gen 2 horses told, which might be more realistic, but when you're doing the Icelandic race, it's just so slow, especially when I've ridden the old Icelandic so much. To then have a told on the new Icelandics, it's just so slow, but like the animation is still so pretty. They're also really cool, the Icelandic horses, and they also have a flying pace in real life instead of like a candle, which I think is really cool, or a slow. That's right, there's like multiple gallops now. I thought it replaced the canter. I think it's the slow gallop it replaces. I don't know, but this horse is so cool to me because it's like multicolored brown. How cool is that? One of my favorite fin horses is the Pinto one, which is like black and brown. I think it's black and brown, or it's also like a dark brown and light brown. I know it's not for everyone, but there's just something about it. Like I can totally see how someone might look at like, th especially this part here and be like, it looks like someone was painting the horse one color and then decided, you know what, let's make it a lighter brown. And then they just forgot a ton of spots. But I kind of like it as a little bit of personality. Whilst we head over to the next location, this spot here is technically because I kind of am going in alphabetical order. This spot here is where like I wanted, like I tried so hard to put a, what's it called, a Lipizzana? <laughs> Why am I forgetting? Yeah, a Lipizzana, hello. A Lipizzana on the list. But like, I think the flea bitten one is the only one I like. I mean, I also kind of like the white one or the gray one, but because I already have the flea bitten, the white one's like too similar that I'm gonna buy it. I also do kind of like, I think there's a light dapple gray version which is also really nice. But I don't know. I just didn't love them enough to put them on my wish list. I think people have just been making like the cutest little dressage edits with the Lipizzanas and it makes me really want them. But then I realized that like I like them. I actually like them more than I thought I would when I first saw the trailer for them. But I think I'm okay with the one for now. But as I said before, if I had unlimited star coins, then like I would buy, I would put them on my wish list. The coloring of them really reminds me of, I think it's um the Clydesdales. There's like that red roan Clydesdale, which is kind of like, is it a red roan? I didn't even know, which is kind of like the red roan Lipizzana. And it's like, I like them, but there's also something about them that I don't like. But some people make such cute outfits with them that it makes me want to buy them. Anyways, moving along, the actual next horse on my wish list is this Morgan right here. And I'm a little bit torn because the Morgans are another horse that I like them. But I also feel like there's something about them that looks a little bit like plasticky or something. I don't really know. But this horse here, I think this one was released later on. But this one looks like one of the Gen 2 colorings, and that Gen 2 horse is, like, really special to me for no real particular reason. I mean, I bought it, like, for myself or, like, a Christmas present, and I made a fun little video 
with the horse strawberry surprise i think her name is his name i don't even know so like i think that's the only reason i'd want to buy this horse i mean i like it but i don't know if i like them enough like when i first saw them i really like them like i would also put this one in similar for the konamara there's just something about the dark mane with the light sorry the dark body with the light mane and tail that makes me fall in love with the horses so i think i'd also buy this one actually yeah this one's definitely on my wish list there's also like this one's also kind of nice it also kind of reminds me of like a hairless cat though <laughs> we're going a little bit out of order because there's tennessee walkers here and the next horses are back at starshine ranch and the tennessee walkers are at the end but i don't really want to like come back and forth anyways the next horse on my wish list is actually this Tennessee Walker here. I feel like Tennessee Walking Horses are the forgotten horses of Star Stable. I feel like every single time I ride one, people are like, what horse is that? And I'm like, did we all just forget about the Tennessee Walking Horses? Because they came out at the exact same time as the Winter Festival. So I think everyone focused on the Winter Festival and there was so much to do with the Winter Festival. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like I always forget about the Tennessee Walking Horses myself. But there's somebody, something about this one that I feel like I wouldn't usually like, but I really like this one here. This is actually the only Tennessee Walking Horse that I own. Actually, no, that's a lie. I bought Jared. Jared for my birthday. There's also this like Silver Dapper one. But I think I've I've had enough like silver dapple horses on my list. I might I'm calling these horses silver dapple and I'm gonna get so many comments being like, um actually the other Tennessee walking horse that I probably put on my wish list is this one right here. But this one's also really similar to that American paint horse. So I don't really know if I'd keep this one. But this one's a definite yes on the wish list. This one's a definite yes on the wish list. But this one I'm still debating. This one as well. But this one's a definite yes. This one's on the wish list. I actually kind of went a little bit overboard and I put like every single Mustang on my wish list. And I don't know if it's because they're like new horses. But I feel head over heels over the Mustangs. Like, I don't know. Their mane is just so like scruffy and cute. I put Spirit on my wish list. I mean, honestly, I feel like I'd only buy him because he is the Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. And like, I used to come home from school every single day when I was younger. This was back. My TV, my TV was smaller than my computer screen right now. It was like really small. We have, we have Spirit Stallion on the, on the DVD and I'll put that DVD in and I would watch it every single day after school. I watched it like consecutively many weeks in a row every single day. I don't know what my parents thought of me. Anyways, this one here, I'm like so unsure about this horse because part of me likes it but the other part of me is like do i like it i think i do like it i think it's on my wish list it's kind of cute like the more i look at it the more i like the more i really want it you guys picasso georgia makes fun of me of the fact that i really want to buy this horse and every single time i see it i get so excited in the game and she's like why'd you buy the gray one if you wanted the picasso one i wanted to be different okay you guys i didn't want to follow the trend like everyone bought this horse and don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with that but i wanted to showcase a different horse on my youtube video to like other people but i still so want this horse the next one on the wish list is definitely this red roan i was actually if you watch my buying the mustang video i was really torn between getting the gray pinto oh, people were like like, oh, that's a gruel or done or something. I don't know. I don't really care. And I was actually torn between these two and I did end up getting this one here. But this one's definitely still on the wish list. And I'd also possibly put this cream one on the wish list. It's on my list over on my other screen. But I feel like I'm putting way too many Mustang horses on my wish list. And once again, I don't know if it's because they're the newest horse breed that I'm obsessed with them. This one's so cute. Picasso, Picasso. You're gonna be mine soon, Picasso. You guys, we have got like two more horses on the wish list. I feel like this video is unnecessarily wrong. Like, did you guys- wrong? Long? I meant long. Do you guys really want a video where I just spend like 20 minutes, half an hour, just talking about horses and not even buying them? Like, is that even entertaining? I didn't really know what color of this horse breed, but the Fjord horses will always have my heart. If there was a generation two Fjord horse that I would have on my wish list today, it would be the generation two Fjord horses because I was so silly. I had enough star coins when they left. I was like hanging out with a club when they left and we were like in the area. We were like saying goodbye. I had enough star coins, but I was like, mm, I don't really like them that much. Like, I'm sure I won't regret it. 
flash forward like five years. My favorite field is actually this one here. If you saw my video where I bought it like in 2021 or something, this horse just looks so like buttery and smooth and I love this one. But honestly, I love all of the colorings. I think I put this one on the wish list. This one here is also, this one's actually, I like this one more, but I feel like this one looks really similar to the Halloween one. The Halloween one's really cute by the way. But I don't know, I just feel like all of the brown field horses look like almost the same. Like obviously there is differences. But I think I'm obsessed enough with them to put them all on my wish list. It's kind of crazy. But they're kind of cute though. Drum roll please you guys. We are heading over to the very last horse on my wish list right now. I mean the Highland. Is that what they're called? The Highland? No the Darmore Ponies I think are coming out next literally this week. So uh, the, the Darmore Ponies that I probably don't buy, buy will probably also end up on my wish list. It's just an ever-growing thing, but you guys, I know it sounds crazy, but I genuinely enjoy having a wish list. I think it's just something about getting older, and also, when you've had the freedom to buy star coins whenever, to buy whatever horses, whatever you wanted it, like, if I didn't have the self-control to not spend all my money, then I would have, like, every single horse in this game. But once you've done that, and, like, when I was buying every single horse when it came out, it kind of like I lost that little something from when I was younger when I just like ha was so excited to buy horses when I could afford them because I'd waited so long to buy them and I missed that so I actually stopped buying every single horse because I wanted a wish list because it's exciting to like yearn for a horse and it's just so much more satisfying when you actually buy it. I, I know you guys might not understand <laughs> but the last horse on my wish list and it's been on my wish list for a while because the Paso Fado horses were the horses that I fell in love with that I never intended to or so this is Hershey. Wait, why is this horse in the game? I thought they were, cause this one's on the app, isn't it? But maybe they did add all the app horses in game. I don't know. But drum roll please, another drum roll because the horse that is going to be on the wish list at the very end is this one right here. And honestly, I kind of don't like this horse. Like the leopard pattern, it sends shivers down my spines. I don't really like it. But for some reason, I love it. <laughs> Georgia makes fun of me for that. Georgia doesn't like this horse either. But um, yeah, I kind of like this horse. But the Paso Fido horses were like my unseen love. I had never heard of a Paso Fino when they came out. I didn't really go into it thinking that much. And now I own like almost every single one of them. But yeah, like I, uh, I don't know if I like this horse but there's something cute about i'm so sorry i'm trying to get next to you and i'm just crushing this horse but i think that is the end of this video i hope you guys did enjoy let me know in the comments below what horses are in your wish list and whether our wish lists kind of looked the same hopefully i can't i literally just forgot to buy star coins last double star coins so hopefully we get a double star coin soon actually i have to buy star coins because the Dartmoor ponies and I can't afford a Dartmoor pony. <laughs> Oops. Make sure to stick around and subscribe because I will be buying the Dartmoor ponies this week as well. I've actually had like a fun little video idea recently where I thought that I would then take my wish list from today's video and I would spin a wheel and the wheel would choose whether the horse would stay on my wish list or not. So let me know whether I should go through that painful process <laughs> of like saying goodbye to my wish list horses. But if you're interested in seeing me buy some horses, then on the screen right now is going to be the video where I bought Mustang horses. And I also spent some time with my friend Georgia. And honestly, it is one of my favorite videos of this year, I think. It was really fun to like check out new horses, and then also talk about the new horses with Georgia. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all later. Bye.